Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Klaus. We're playing some more of our Hoarding America campaign. It's going to be episode 27. I'm joined here by Hey Abbott and Veraguas. Say hello. Hello. And we have Deadlock over in Guantanamo. As you can see, he is here as well. Let's get going. Speed deuce. And uh, apparently, I didn't realize it, but France is over here. They decided to come in right on the... Like, literally, they just got here. So, France is doing their thing. Sucks. Ah, uh, is what it is, I suppose. The Erica? Oh, it's Eri Oh. I'm not going out there. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh, minus one. But minus point... Plus point zero five autonomy. I'm okay with that. Maybe I can... Westernize off of uh, France. Yeah, you can. They're 11, 11, 11. You're just going to have to wait until they get that province. It's going to take them a little while. Uh, that's fine by me. A year there. I want these two and that. Um, I don't know, maybe that's good for me, though, because then I can go over to Escabo. Okay, come on. I don't think I can necessarily cut them off, though. Maybe I can. I'm at 81%. Yeah. I ho I'm hoping that at the end of this episode, I'm Western Tech Group. We can all hope. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, uh, I won't go out on my way to be mean to them or anything. We can try and use France to our advantage. Um, granted, probably only against Castile. Por Portugal is really just a non entity at this point. Sorry, oh Portuguese. Don't cut them off. Let them form a colonial nation and then support that to rebel against their overlord and conquer them after. Um, well, I wouldn't necessarily be cutting them off. You need what? You need five? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, if Castile gives up, which they probably won't. Uh, uh, Denmark is probably going to get taken off of the map. So, like I would say, probably Sweden would come over before Denmark. Either that or Norway. I thought a really cool playthrough would be playing as England. And then, like, having your country just fall apart. And then shipping your country to the New World. Mm -hmm. And then trying to do everything from the New World. So just be like, I'm out of here. England. You're I think England there's like uh, I'm out of here. I think there's Ireland strategies that do that where you basically just go to the new world as quick as possible. Yeah. Mm, okay, how about this, the master room? I'm gonna get I, I, a I know that uh sorry. That's no, all good. Yeah, I'm gonna get Esekibo and then Angostura and then I'll leave them a whole bunch semi cut them off. Are we saying Abbott? I know that Quill did a playthrough kind of like that as Ireland. And the thing is that Ireland is a lot smaller, so you can do that. Because it'd be tough to do as England just because of how much land they have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Portugal isn't really going to oh. do much this oh. game. Oh, what am I? What am I doing? I completely. There we go. 
Just take all of it. Why not? Alright. Uh, create a proper fleet. Remove Cusco from the map. We could... We could do that. Colonize Arequipa. Where is that? Arequipa. Oh, right there. Ah. We could... We could do that. Oh, man. Aragon yeah, gets like bigger it. and bigger. They have, like, parts of Sicily now. Ah, uh, Provence got taken up. Norwegian sh- Oh, God. Get these Euro freaks out of here. Sorry, Master, no Portuguese. It's <laughs> 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 like insulting Europeans and like that's the only people watching me right now. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I should probably, should probably get on that. Yeah, the real problem that happened of Portuguese case is that uh, Castile and Portugal weren't allied. They didn't ally up early on. Now, if they do that, they'll take over Morocco and then sh uh, send and just start colonizing all of uh, the New World. They do a good job that way. But it depends on the relationship between Castile and Portugal. Oh, new military tech. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yes, please. Get some better units. Some much well, better you, units. You should have checked out our uh, Chinese campaign. That was awesome. Chi Wata Tian. Where the hell is this? I'm going to pause it while I <laughs> find this damn province. Oh, so the master is saying, here's what my problem is. I mostly want to watch American streamers because they're the only ones whose English I can understand. And all the American streamers want to play in colonies, which is utterly boring. <laughs> um, well, then you should have you should have joined us earlier. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe not even. a Well, I guess it's probably about a month ago from this point. Uh, we were doing the Norse Inquisition, and we were over in um, in China. Like I started out right here, and Abbott started out up here, and we just just did did terrible things in China, and and ended yeah, up and we wrecked me. We ended up controlling like almost this entire region right here. Um, it was it was pretty epic. I, I enjoyed that playthrough. It got silly yeah. after a while, though. We were just super powerful. And freaking uh, Yaren was... A, not Yaren. Oh, uh, who was that one that was just being annoying? Wasn't type... It was... Uh, oh, Yarkin. Yarkin. Yeah. They had an alliance with... Uh, Delhi. Uh, Delhi. Delhi got really huge. Yeah, and, it was bad. Yeah, Yarkin... Yurkin just sat there in that deli to do all of its attacking for him. So we had uh, like 90,000 troops against our probably 200,000, but they just kept coming back. It was unfortunate. I don't know. It was, it was just, lucky. it was just kind of like we would, we would push in on them 
and kind of like give stuff back to like Oirad or whatever like that. And then they would just keep moving further west and start going to like Western hordes or like they started to hit up, you know, little guys in Russia and stuff like that. You should see successful Delhi in my mod. <laughs> Is it ridiculous? Is it too ridiculous? I think overall Delhi Delhi probably has like the best the best land in um well between Delhi and Jampur. I think that's really whoever wins that region is the Manus is bigger. Yeah. Now see they're they're bigger, but their land is not as good. If you look, all like the high base tax provinces are up with Delhi and Jampur. And Bengal has a couple, but they normally don't last that long. But they yeah, you're I don't right. know, they're they're doing good in this mod, or not mod, but this version, last version, uh, one point, what was it, one point thirteen or one point twelve? Can't remember. Uh, Bengal was pretty worthless, but they rejiggered the whole um, starting nations over in India. Oh, I had Haya got big too. I had Haya. Yep. Oh, nice. They took Kamir and uh, what's the one that you had as an ally? Dive yet. For a long time. Dive yet's oh, still there. Yet's still there. Barely though. They're just a little sliver. Uh, I think is still. It still yeah. hasn't broken up anymore. It's large and in charge. I'm surprised it hasn't really. Holy crap! My. Yeah. Legitimacy, how is that going down so much? Lord knows. It, you should be able to... Down? Oh, negative stability is dropping it by minus one. Ew. That's no, crap. I'm almost done. Oh, crap. And my what good leader just here? died. And I'm getting ridiculous amounts of money right now. These people need to calm oh, down. What a cruddy leader, a zero zero two zero. I'll try another one. A two zero zero zero. What the hell? That is a lot better. It's still not good. But it's two one three one. That beats a two zero zero zero. Hmm. Someone was telling me about humanist ideas being really good last time. I don't think I want to do another admin group, though. I think I want to sink some points into military ideas. Yeah, humanist is pretty awesome because it gives you religious unity. And it, what you can do is you can pretty much take over whatever area that has a religion, and they won't rebel against you or hate you because of a different religion. So nice. you don't need to worry about having to convert the religion. Welcome back. 97.64%. Yeah. Corruption. Oh. Uh, LA. Do I want to do that or do I want to take out these rebels? And Belize. I'm going to take out rebels. What was I doing? I was doing something. Oh my oh, god. Dang it. Yeah, he is not having not having luck. Would that not have any luck? If he wasn't uh Nahuatl? If he was not Nahuatl, it wouldn't happen to him, correct? Dang that sucks. Yeah, it does. It's influence tribute claim fabrication. Ooh, maybe I'll go with maybe I'll go with influence next. Can't figure out what. What do you ID need I to do to to complete the doomsday? Is that the one where you have to get the uh, the vassals? Or probably with defensive.
Oh, nice. Oh, Portuguese. That's really good. And there we Super go. Super good news. I am Western. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the option. Give me the option. Uh, no available mercenaries? Westernize. Oh, I'm overextended, so I can't do it yet. Oh, look at that. 346 to get the next tech. Admin tech. Only 346 points? Yep. Wow. But that's because I'm at like five. Wow. Holy moly. How much percentage are you behind? Uh, What do you mean? Negative 30%. Oh, okay. So that's about three years or so. Or no, actually, it's uh, five techs. Should be five techs. Six techs. Oh, nice. I'm about to get Trinidad. Deadlocks help. Needs help. I have no transports. Sorry. I got six, so I can help you a little bit, but. And where? I don't know. I tried to look that one up. I didn't find it. Check out the whisper. Uh, I don't have Whisper turned off. The last Whisper that you sent me, Master, went through. That's weird if it's not showing up. But yeah, the, the mod... The mod did show up previously. So that's weird. Hey, B-Wise, how's it going? I know we're not playing Warframe Hello. today, but nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, just uh, put the link. Because last time you posted the link, Mubot didn't freak out at you. So I think it's safe to post the link. It's super safe. I have so much money, it's ridiculous. What do I Man, have you're with these me guys? Hungry. Oh, each one's a theocracy. Interesting. Uh, maybe I'm getting confused. The master, when you sent me that, um, uh, Province mod one from Imager. I got that one. Dang it. Just had to be at the end of the month where I took. Yay! They got a pip of, uh, of morale back. And yeah, these things, they happen. Yay! I'm now at zero stability. Ah, okay, there we go. I'm no longer losing legitimacy every turn. Whoa! That is a massive deli. I mean, that's a big, like, every country. Um, just wondering, wait, oh, that's interesting. Do you, is that border mod part of the, um, more provinces mod or is that something different or is that the standard? It doesn't look quite standard. Huh. Why did they say it's still Muslim musketeer? I'm Western tech. I should be getting... The Western, uh, Western one. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, was modding borders at the time, not part of the mod. Okay, cool. Yeah, just wondering. I mean, I pretty much like the borders mod that I have on right now, but... Yeah, hey. this one's pretty good. I don't know, it definitely makes it easier to see in between countries, but that was a pretty, uh, a pretty cool border that was on, uh, on his picture. Some of these Indian flags are kind of interesting. The oh, uh, nice. Sesku Hanak looks like they have an armadillo for the flag. The pony has the wolf bed. That one is pretty cool. I like the Salish Eva, a whale. I don't know what height it is. Two birds, I guess? Yeah, interesting. Uh, borders are simply to retain. Are simple to retain in pretty much any mod. Just like five files. Oh, cool. I haven't take, uh, taken a, a gander at what it would really take to to mod borders. To mod in general. I, I would argue I'm probably pretty capable of it. Doing what I do for a living, but... Just haven't taken the time. So I think I asked before, and you might have been away or whatever, if you had worked on any other mods besides just the uh, the more provinces. We can take the look at those ones as well. Uh, some more wars up by you. Dang, that sucks. Integration is a slow process, yep. Oh, good. Well, that happened, like, right on time. Yep. Okay, let's so. get rid of Aztec, uh, tech, not tech, culture. Get rid of them before they go and continue to rebel against me. No Steam servers are not working, so I don't have the Steam card. Oh. Oh man, that that sucks. So dead. To make sure that you don't have any problems with uh, like re rebels and stuff, keep uh, Telexcola there, and just continue to to uh, go to war with them. And uh, I I don't know, take some some money. Yay, successful bureaucracy. So that is a good province. Here's what I say you do. You give to Luxcala, um Mets Titlon and then uh, see if you can in the next war take the other one. The oh, Hwastek. Cool. Leave them with a 1-1 one -one to where they're not they don't have any troops and stuff. Though that is kind of convoluted. Ah, uh, good. Got some cores there. Tiwanaku working. There we go. One more. Give me one more core province. Polish. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to have to do it.
I'll just have to wait for that next province. And then I can try and westernize off of you. I think try is the key word. I think I'm probably pretty close in tech to you. Yeah, you're not too far off. All righty, everybody. We'll see you next time. You should get to the point where anyone else would like it. And you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Just do it!